at around 4.30 a.m. on the 25th of April 1915, the first soldiers of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps landed in the Arriburni area of the Gallipoli Peninsula. On the same morning, soldiers from Britain, France and their colonies launched nearby assaults at Cape Helles and Concao. At the time, the Allies wanted to destroy the Turkish forts overlooking the Dardanelles so their ships could enter the Sea of Marmara and bombard Constantinople, now Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire. They hoped this would force Turkey's surrender, ease pressure on Russia and deprive Germany of a major ally. Historians estimate that some 2,000 Australians were killed or wounded on the 25th of April, but no precise casualty figures were made on that day. For eight months, the Anzacs held their positions on the ridges and gullies above Anzac Cove. They could not move forwards, but the Turks could not push them back towards the sea. In December 1915, the Anzacs were evacuated. By then, 8,700 Australians and 2,700 New Zealanders had been killed. In total, at least 130,000 Allied and Turkish soldiers died as a result of the Gallipoli campaign. When the Anzacs arrived in France, the war on the Western Front had long been in stalemate. The opposing armies faced each other from trench systems that extended across Belgium and northeast France and the English Channel to the Swiss border. Of all the Australians who died during the First World War, around 80% were killed on the Western Front. Of those 400,000 Anzac soldiers who served in the First World War, 223 were Barker students. 23 of these died while on active service. Following this, in the Second World War, over 750 Barker Old Boys enlisted to serve in Australia's armed forces, of which 69 gave their lives in defence of our country. In addition, Barker had seven Old Boys serve in the Korean War and 23 serve in Vietnam. For historian Charles Bean, the word Anzac stood for reckless valour in a good cause, for enterprise, resourcefulness, fidelity, comradeship and endurance that will never own defeat. These qualities of the original Anzacs who landed on the 25th of April 1915 can also be seen in the service of those who came after them in the Second World War, Korea, Malaya, Vietnam, in recent conflicts like Afghanistan and Iraq, and on peacekeeping operations like those in the Solomon Islands and East Timor. Anzac Day is a day to remember all those who have served in Australia's armed forces for more than a century. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. 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 Lest we forget.